y'all this is episode 101 of the home room with smooth podcast what's good how are y'all doing today so listen um today i'm here to talk about protecting your brand and your ip okay so listen um i i've i've seen it um i kind of allude to this and um this is the first time i've done this i recorded 102 before i recorded 101 um i alluded to this in the other uh episode um 102 where um uh basically um the ceo of ctg um jimmy carl jackson he uh basically another um an artist um basically was saying that he was homophobic on facebook live or some mess like that which is just dumb like he's not um you know, he put he uh, he put said artist on the watch list. Don't know her name um, at all. Um, and uh, even though I like he, I read the whole thing. Uh, I don't know her name as an artist. Um, she's a she's a lesbian artist. She can rap. Um, and basically he was trying. He was basically saying, hey, we're going to see what you can do. And once we see what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Then we're going to see if we, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put some money behind you and, you know what I'm saying, really get you popping or whatever, right? So they were watching her. They were seeing what she could do, whatnot. Cool, cool. Make makes sense, right? Um, Basically, she, uh, she went on Facebook Live and was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like she said she was homophobic and all that just to get you guys up. And um, then he had to make this long, lengthy post, you know what I'm saying, like, Posting like photos and receipts of like them together, you know what I'm saying? Her being at different events and taking pictures together and all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, I think photos of the conversation they were having, you know what I'm saying? And conversation they had that he was reaching out to her and he was fooling with her and stuff, you know. And you know, a bit she she went on Facebook Live after that and apologized or whatever that they were having a misunderstanding. But my thing is, you should have never went on Facebook Live in the first place and like downed them like that. That's crazy, um, you know. And especially especially for Arkansas, like for what it is, like you know, like they're really trying to do something like really good over there at CTG, like, like they have great studio equipment and all this other stuff. Um, great space, um, great engineers, producers, all of that. So I don't understand like why you would then come at people that, you know what I'm saying, are trying to help you win that way. Um, and the reason I call this episode protecting your brand and IP is because him putting out that statement was him protecting his brand protecting himself, you know what I'm saying? He is his brand, you know what I'm saying? He's representative of his label. So that's, he had to come out and do that. Um, and and what I want to say to other people that have brands um, that are content creators or you're a producer or you sell makeup or you, uh, uh, you do just um, journalism, photos, camera work, whatever you do, protect your brand, protect your brand. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, any time, any chance somebody gets to pull you down, to big themselves up, they're going to do it. Um, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's, um, oh my God, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's um, what it should be, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the truth, they're going to take that opportunity to come at you and you have to do the things necessary to protect yourself um, and protect your brand. Um, I, I even found myself in a situation where I had to protect my own brand and who I was and who I wanted to be and how I wanted to be representative. I mean, rep- uh, excuse me, represented. And um, I did I did the things necessary. I took the steps and actions necessary to protect myself and my brand. Um, and, you know, nobody else is going to do that. Nobody's going to care more than you. Nobody is. 
Nobody is. Um, and then to get into the protecting your intellectual property piece, like don't sign deals you don't read. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I keep seeing stories of, oh, I'm complaining about my label because my, my label's jerking me because they didn't, they didn't, uh, they, they, they're requiring this. They're not paying me no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's because you're in a negative. You owe them money. Marketing costs money. Radio costs money. It ain't like you're an established artist. And like you got hits. Like not hit hits. So like it, it's one of those things where you you really just got to realize that, you know, till you get to that level, you know what I'm saying? You need to spend your money wisely. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't be out here trying to fake it. You know what I'm saying? Because faking it till you're making it don't work when you're in debt. Because you you really in debt. You can fake it as much as you want to, but you really gonna be in debt. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, even if um I was watching some videos on um on YouTube where YouTube channels were selling themselves to um companies, um, like Defy Media and um uh, Smoosh. Um, uh, what else is that? Uh, there's another, um, there's another, there's another channel. There's another channel that sold themselves to another entity and then they end up falling apart too. Uh, oh, uh, I believe it was, but was it Buzzfeed? No, it was college humor. It was college humor. They college humor was owned by another entity and then, uh, college humor stopped producing great content. And well, they started to fall off. Really, I, I don't think the content level really changed too much. They got a little, little too too political, but it wasn't as bad as Buzzfeed. And they just started to fall off. And um, basically, their funder like let them go. You know, they let them go. They 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 pushed them out here and said, "Hey, bye. You're on your own." And um, you know, because they, they were losing money, they weren't making money. They were losing money. And when you're in that situation. As a business, like I understand, but as a content creator, I'm like, why'd you sell to them in the first place? You was doing just fine. You wanted that. You wanted that extra, like, come up. You want to. You want to get there faster. Getting there faster isn't always good. It's not always good. Like, I. I mean, like, yes, like money sounds great. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you're not gonna put me on salary. For my own shit. Like that's what happened with Smooch. Them niggas was on salary. For their own channel. How you on salary for your own channel. And then somebody else eating off you. All your hard work. All the time you put in. All your creativity. They telling you no you can't put that up on your own channel. Because you sold it. Like that's crazy. Don't ever put yourself in a position where you can't be a true creative, you know, because like, you know, corporate, corporate execs don't know. They don't interact with your fan base every day. They don't, they don't move in the, in that space. They, all they do, all they look at is numbers and a spreadsheet. You know what I'm saying? There's very few execs that are in touch with the people. Um, so my thing is, uh, Definitely, um, definitely like protect your brand, protect your IP, do, do what's necessary to, um, to, to, to protect yourself. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's just pretty much all I have to say about that. Now we're going to get into some, like some, like just some, just some updates, some quick updates. So now all the odd number episodes will be probably just me, unless it's like an interview I did. And then um, anytime you see episodes on the even numbers, it's going to be the regular cast. And then on the, like every other week, we're going to bring in guests to the to that panel and we're going to make it big and it's going to be like 100. Um, so yeah, just, just bear with me on like getting guests together and stuff. Um, I have something really special planned for 104. Be on the lookout for that. Um, man, um, I also want to say, um, shout out to, uh, what's her name? Skirt with the dirt. Um, she did a video interviewing Lil Rock Obama and Jimmy Carlson. I watched some of it. It was pretty cool. It's up on YouTube. Um, 
check check her out check the channel the channel out i think it's like universal uh universal 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 media group i think that's what it's called on youtube universal media group um check them out um get them get them a look, good look uh i ain't no hater um other other issues that um i mean other not issues other podcasts you might want to check out um there's the Gemini Mind podcast. There's the uh, man. What's what's that? What's that dude's name? Oh, um, check out my homegirl had the Levitas channel. Um, uh, nope, she's not doing content anymore. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it there because I'm gonna be um um for the rest of this thing and for the audio listeners. That's just terrible absolutely terrible for the audio for, I mean for the video people you can look at me and go <laughs> that looks funny he's over there struggling he's like mentally like Ugh. um but anyway um yeah I just want to thank y'all for watching thank y'all for rocking with me um we got thumbnails now so hey y'all look at this thumb look at the thumbnail okay you know like comment and subscribe hit the follow button um yeah yeah love y'all man hey have a good one be safe. Happy Black History Month, okay? Episode 102 is called Black Future Month. You know what I'm saying? We discussed the future of black people and the things that we can do better. Y'all tap into that, and I'm out.